Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the J&J Toy Giants unboxing. I am your host JD. My name is Jaden. And we have a huge video for you guys today. A plethora of toys that we're going to be unboxing today. Wanted to say thank you because it is now one week after Jaden's birthday. He is now how old? Seven. He's seven years old. And we want to thank everybody out there who wished him a happy birthday. And uh, also check out his uh, birthday presents unboxing that he that uh -huh. we uh, uploaded. And we it was decide, a short ski. We decided to come outside because yes. it's a beautiful day. Yes. And our mom is gardening. You might see her. Yeah, you might see her on the back over there. Uh, ruining the shot, just kidding. Uh, but uh, what also came out yesterday? is out now in the early access you can actually buy the movie which we have and we're gonna be watching that tonight and there are some toys yes which we are gonna be going over today let's check it out all right take it away Jaden so what which ones are these uh, this is uh, uh, that's Muttley yeah Muttley and, and you can see it looks like Batman and he this is uh, if for all the people who are on my age who remember this guy from the Laugh Olympics and the and the Rocky races? That is the Blue Falcon. And then here's the Laughing Dog. That is Muttley. Do you remember Muttley, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So why don't you talk about this? Uh, what do you like uh, about these toys? Because he he looks like a parrot and. He does look a little bit like Batman. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You know, broad shoulders, mm -hmm. you got a mask. Yeah. He's a... Uh, uh, and I like how they did this. Yes. Yep, we're also going to show some other stuff uh, that has to deal with the DC. All right, so the next one that we're going to be going over today... Is Scooby-Doo and... Dick Dastardly. Again, if you are around my age, this. you remember Dick Dastardly and Muttley. The uh, tag team that were always up to no good, but they never, they never won because cheaters never prosper. Learn that lesson well, kids. You can't get through life uh, by taking shortcuts. I know this, and I've learned it the hard way. But, and also, if you watch the older cartoons, which also, just a side note, if you have an Xbox, okay, and I don't know if they have this on the PlayStation uh, network, but if you have an Xbox, you can download an application that's called Cartoons Unlimited. They have all of the older cartoons from like the 70s, the 80s, some 60s, but all the way up till now. So you can actually now, take a look at these guys from the 80s. Here's Scooby in his nice suit. Yep, this is his superhero suit that uh, is portrayed in the movie. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler. Spoiler alert. That means you do not take our fingerprint because that's <laughs> stealing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, I haven't seen the movie, but I can only uh, assume uh, that this guy is up ooh, to no good in the I, movie. Yeah, I saw a ver I saw, I saw a cut scene of Sh Scooby and Shaggy how they took a ride in the in the spaceship. And then there. Yeah, it's part of the trailer. Yeah, and then they went. Oh, I, I think that was a nice thing, school. Uh, 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 yeah, like their faces were up, and like, uh, yeah, that that was a good ride. <laughs> and then their hairs was up, and then they were, and then their mouths were like this, and then their hair was like this. If you don't subscribe. Your this this guy will cut off all your hair. And you will be <laughs> well. That's not really true, but we want you to subscribe. Be sure to comment on all of our video submissions or, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or bees will come and sting you. <laughs> <laughs> don't subscribe uh, so let's get to the next to toys that we have going on today all right so the next ones that we have for from the scoob line is shaggy and dino mutt and there's there's a cut there's one thing if you've seen that movie 
there's Dynoma and he's like he's like a half robot and half dog. Yep, and, and he is actually Blue Falcon's right hand man. This and, is a, that's his Robin to his Batman. And then and then he does crazy stuff. Yeah, he's got all kinds of gadgets and stuff and everything yeah, like that. And then a, it, yeah, and then here's Scooby's best friend, like ro like Run Shaggy. Like he's always like, Scoop Run. Ah! Alright, so that's uh, Shaggy. It's pretty self explanatory that you can see um, they haven't really changed a lot of Shaggy, although that he is wearing kind of like an this, undershirt under his t-shirt. It tells you something on here. Yep, and so the this, Shaggy's are pretty much, uh, you know, this, the same in any every figure that you see in any incarnation this is that they in have. 47 one. Yep, so what? Well, let's take a look, look at the next one that we have. All right, so the next one that we have, and this is all part of the Scoob line, because he did a, he got a lot of, uh, he did a lot of chores, and he saved up his money, so he got like a plethora of uh, different uh, toys. This actually he got uh, about a week ago or so. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, so this is Captain Caveman, also part of the Hanna-Barbera family, and uh, also from the Laugh Olympics, and, then... and um, the Wacky Races, and Scooby-Doo. And this is the one without this kind of suit. And then here's Dino Mud. That, no, this is Captain Caveman. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, he, I don't know what he does in the movie. Yeah, we don't know because we haven't watched it, but pretty much we know that he's in it. Uh, so for those of you who don't know who Captain Caveman is, take a look. All right, so we have a haunted house for from the Scooby-Doo line. This is actually from the, I believe they use it for the minifigures for the yeah. Scooby-Doo. But um, we actually, he got this from his birthday present that he got yeah, from his because, mom and papa. because the other one, I lost the other thing. Yeah, he, he uh, was missing the stairs and, yeah, and he was missing... Yeah, and the Austin. Yeah, this, this was all... And then the, this and then I lost that. Yeah. And then, and then I had no nothing else. So I thought, hey, Dad, can I buy this? And he, and he said, sure. Yep. And then one year, the postman came, and he gave me the not the one box. year, but it was and like a week. And there's somebody. There is the the haunted house, and then it came a Scooby. So as you can see, uh, this pretty much has a lot of things you can do with it. So if you, there's a little uh, door, uh, I'm sorry, there's a little button here. If you press it, if you press the uh, the little button, the door is open, right? Yeah. As you get inside of the actual play set, there's a little trap door or button here. And you see this little like goosely goblin's hands comes out. Ooh. Um, and then of course it has what it was show them all the stuff we have. Ooh, it has like this, the the chandelier comes down, and then this. Whoa! So that the projectile comes out of here, and of course, uh, if you hit this uh, button, then the chandelier comes down. So it's a pretty cool thing. And then there's one more thing. When you walk on the stairs. There's like a clown. You want to see? If you can't see, then we'll take it out and show you. Here, there's a little, cl there's a clown yep. in the basement with the light. And if you're scared of clowns, there's Pennywise. And then there's a killer clown in, in the scary elevator. So if you, if you're older, then you can watch Pennywise. All right, so the, the, the hits just keep on coming. We got a super, super packed episode. We're going to keep on going. What the, did you get just now when we were at Ollie's? The superheroes and these. So these are the Justice League Bendems figures. And he, uh, we got it at Ollie's. We have Robin and then Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. And there's a big pack. There's a big pack. That comes with the Flash, Batman, uh, and then who else? Oh, there's Superman. 
then uh, a Wonder so there's Woman. Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, Superman, and uh, Green yeah. Lantern. Yeah. And then there's the Joker that's in a one pack. And yep. he's the evil villain. And know who, who his girlfriend is? Harley Quinn. Yes, Harley Quinn and Joker are evil. Yeah, and they evil! Are, how are they going to save Princess Peach? Yeah, how are they going to save Princess Peach? All right, so this is the Jax Pacific Super Mario Brothers Bowser Castle. And he got this at Target. A, this, whoa, that is super scary. This, I'm just going to tell you right now, for all the people who actually own this, God bless you for having the patience to put this thing together. I, he and I tried to do this for like an hour, and it was a no no, no good bedfellow. So we, we tapped out, and so Mommy saved the day, and she was even having a hard time uh, getting this thing together it too. Comes, so. It comes with a flying character. Yep. Of course, Bowser, it's his castle, yeah. right? And, Duh. Then sh and show them the inside. So if you turn it around, all right, it has the inside with a cage. Here, watch a trap door. And that helps to get King Bowser away. Yep. And then there on the and then on the first floor there's a cage that they put King Bowser in. And then show them the bottom. On the bottom, there's lava, cause yeah. King Bowser likes lava. So Mario has to jump here. There's a little elevator. And then this is where they save, this is where he saves Princess Peach. And then there's like, there's a Mario house that doesn't have the King Bowser. And then, and then you can put King Bowser you can put him here, or you can put him here at the front door. Like, out looking out this way, and you can see his back and the tail. Yep. All right. So, I guess uh, the old saying goes, you save the best for last, right? So, about... I, I, I was actually at the beginning of the year. The, our first toy hunt that we did for 2020. Be sure to check that video out as well. I went to a place called Tuesday Morning, and it's kind of like an Ollie's, but it's a little bit more upscale. It's kind of like a mixture of Ollie's, uh, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls, where they sell a lot of up upscale stuff. Uh, and I found this uh, Star Wars Black Series uh, special gift box that is reminiscent of the original mail away uh, playset figure box so when the um, Star Wars came out okay they didn't have enough time and a uh, supply of toys to make it for that Christmas of that year because it was supposed to be coming out uh, in Christmas of 76 and so they didn't actually have time because they went over schedule so they set it out for a release in summer of 77 so they didn't have enough toys to be able to make for that year in Christmas. So what they did was they had an empty box campaign, which um, are highly documented in all the uh, documentaries for Star Wars that look just like this, where your parents would fill out a card with your name and everything like that, and then you would be guaranteed to have all of the figures that next Christmas. And so this particular uh, box has the Black Series uh, Darth Vader in it, but it also has a play set, so if you turn it around, you can actually get all of the figures, right, in an actual, like, little setup like that, like a little display. And you can, it almost kind of looks like the 77 uh, empty box um, service or the toys that they had back in the day. So I actually uh, never let it breathe because I don't have the space right now to actually display it. I want to have my own Star Wars uh like space but I don't have space for it now that's why I didn't let it breathe all right so the next one that I'm gonna be going over the final thing I actually got today the re-release of the Kenner Star Wars figures and its original scale that they had it's almost kind of like a GI Joe scale of Luke Skywalker in Yavin so this is the actual outfit that he wore at the end of episode 4 when they've defeated the, the Empire and the Death Star they blew him up blew it up 
and you can see he has that little uh, you know medallion that little medal that the uh, Princess Leia gave him at the end of Star Wars episode 4 so because I don't have the space for this one either I am NOT gonna let it breathe right now but when I do I will uh, do like a live uh, you know Instagram or Facebook live post when I do let it breathe so that everybody can see you know the unboxing there so that does it for this edition of the J&J &J Toy Giants unboxing thank you so very much be sure to like and subscribe we're still doing the uh, collector of the week if you want have any type of collections like Funko Pops comics uh, if you collect sneakers books cameras toys anything trading cards you name it send us an actual video and we will then uh, make it look nice and then put it at the tail end of one of our videos that that particular week but thank you so very much and stay safe everybody keep on cruising